Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and this is your second power standard for the first term. Uh, this is going to be a fantasy game, but it's really not going to do much. I just wanted to kind of expand on the terrain that we built in the last couple of weeks, and we're just going to add some stuff to the scene and just kind of feel like we're just going to flesh it out a little bit more. Now you'll see that my terrain isn't completely finished. Uh, where I left off the last video, that's kind of where I left. I, I forgot to really build it out. So yours probably looks better than mine at this point, um, which is a good thing. That's what you want. Uh, but we're going to add some stuff to it. Uh, namely, we're going to add a character that the player can control, either third person or first person. For my game, I'm going to add a first person character because um, I think it, it helps to bring you more into the environment. But for you, you can add a third person character if you'd really, really want to. Um, we are going to add a custom skybox to the game. Uh, we're going to add at least three custom textures uh, to the game. We're going to add at least five objects or props and one other character. It can be an enemy. It could be an NPC sitting in the middle of a village, wh whatever it is. We can bring in something else. Um, now, that character doesn't have to do anything. It doesn't have to be animated. It doesn't have to be an enemy you can actually fight. Uh, you just want to bring in uh, something else. All right. So... Let's get into it. Now, remember, this game doesn't actually have to be a game. It doesn't have to be anything that you can actually uh, play. Um, but it does have to be something that's a little bit more fleshed out than this thing that we have. So notice that, you know, I have some grass. I have some trees. I have my, my little character there. I've got some mountains in the distance. I've got a lake that I forgot to turn into a lake. So, you know, that's all, that's all well and good there. Um, so let's talk about this cube thing, right? I brought this in as a reference for height because I wanted to figure out, you know, hey, this is where my main character, this is how tall the character is going to be. So everything else around it has to be scaled appropriately. Um, but I actually don't want to keep that in here anymore. I'm going to get rid of it and replace it with a 3D um, first person character controller. So the easiest way to do this is to go to the asset store. And in the asset store, you want to search for this packet called standard assets. Now, there are other 3D character controllers that you can use, uh, but the one in the Unity standard assets package is pretty good. Um, it works for our, pro for our purposes. So you can actually just grab the standard assets package. I already have it, so I don't need to install it again. So I'm going to go to my package manager, find my standard assets for Unity. And I'm going to, I've already downloaded it, try to speed up the process of this video. And I'm going to click import. Now, with the standard assets package, it's, e it's, it's really important to remember that there are tons of assets that come in with this package. And so when it gives you this menu here, this option to only import the things you want, I would suggest just grabbing the things you want. For example, we don't need sample scenes. I'm going to get rid of that folder completely. We don't want that. We also don't want 2D because this is a 3D game, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, these cameras, we actually, let's see, those are fine, the characters are fine. Basically, everything in here is fine. I don't want the roller ball. I don't want the third person controller, because mine's going to be first person, so I'm going to use the first person. Uh, scripts, fine, sprites, editor effects, image effects, sure. All this stuff should be fine. I'm going to click import. Um, I just knew that I did not want the sample scenes because I already have a scene. I don't need a sample scene to play with, right? Those sample scenes take up a lot of space and memory, and I don't really need them. And it looks like I have a conflict. Okay. So when dealing with assets packages, it's really important that you remember or you learn how to troubleshoot effectively. Now down here, uh, it says I have a an issue with this script. Now I can tell by the name of the script it's a simple activator menu. I'm, I'm not going to need that. I don't need that script. So I'm going to find that script and I'm just basically going to get rid of it. So it's assets, standard assets, unity, simple activator menu. So I'm going to go to project and where's my standard assets? There we go. Standard assets and utility and simple activator menu. So where is it? Right there. So this is the script I want to get rid of. I'm just going to right click and delete it. It's causing a compiler error in my in my game and I want to get rid of it because I don't want it to be messing with my game. 
All right, so now that that's gone, I should be able to go back into my scene, find my where, oh, I kind of, I undocked that, didn't I? Let's not undock that, please. Hello, let's dock that back in. Thank you, oh, good. thank you. Nope, I wanna dock it with these guys. Thank you, put it over there. <laughs> All right, so now I wanna find my first person character controller. So under characters, I have first person character controller. I wanna go to prefabs, and I'm gonna grab this FPS controller and drag it in. Now it comes in as this capsule here, and notice it is pretty much exactly the same height as my reference, right? Perfect. Now, a couple things I need to do. This cube, I don't need it anymore, so I can delete that. I also don't need a main camera because the main camera is now gonna be the camera attached to my first person controller. So I can delete my main camera as well. Now at this point, I can go ahead and pl hit play. And notice I now have full control over my character in Unity. Just like a first person game, I can hold sprint to shift or shift to sprint. Now those footsteps are a bit loud and they also kind of don't match the footsteps of my game. So if I go to my FPS controller, I can uh, look down here. I have, I have jump sound, land sound. I have where are the sound effects for my walking footstep sounds in here? So I have footstep one and footstep two. I could replace those with sound effects that, fa that sound a little bit more like I'm walking on grass or dirt, right? And again, I can just find those in the asset store. I can go back to the asset store. Um, uh, walking sound effects right and that'll bring up sound effects that I can bring in remember to select free assets so real footsteps let's see that's the only one that's left hopefully it's not so let's see it has forest okay so I could bring that in that's just a bunch of sound effects I can replace those with so uh, like I could just drop those sound effects in here I'm not gonna worry about it all right um, next let's change this sky so this sky is pretty boring it's pretty drab I want to replace it with something new so let's go to the asset store and we're gonna say fantasy skybox now for all the, the rest of the assets that I choose, you don't have to choose them. You can pick whatever you want. I'm just kind of showing you how to grab free assets. So that's a cool one. Uh, let's see, all sky, 10 skies, color skies. Let's grab this guy. Or actually, I already have the all skies one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that one since I already have it. Uh, let's see. Fantasy Skybox. Yeah, let's use that one. Okay, so I'm going to download that. Do, do, do. I just want to show you how to install a new Skybox into your game. Um, because this is one of the biggest ways you can make a great impact on your scene and make it really feel like how you want it to feel. Um, so yeah, all that's good. That's fine. I'll import those. Just give it a second. So I can tell that my, my encoding on the video is getting a bit overloaded. That means my CPU is being taxed a little much, but that's okay. The video might be getting choppier, but apparently we're waiting for picture files to import. Anyway, so it's not like I'm doing anything crazy or dynamic right now anyway, right? Yeah. You know, a smarter man probably would have imported all these before, but then you wouldn't have seen the real experience of waiting all day for these resources to load, which is very authentic, and this is how it's going to feel for you when you're doing it, except you're not going to have a captive audience that has to listen to you ramble while you're waiting. Oh, hey, it's done. So, uh, once we're done there, then we can go into um, Windows. 
is it window and then lighting? They've moved some stuff around. Okay, so it's window, rendering, and lighting. That's where we're going to go. Okay, and in here, where we turned off our mixed lighting and all that stuff earlier, we had an option. Let's go to, oh, right here. Option for default skybox. That's the default skybox. We can change that here now um, by using one of the new skybox materials, which I don't see. Oh, there we go. So we've got all kinds of new skybox materials we can use. Hmm, what do I want? There's some really good ones. Let's try, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do that one and see what happens. Now when I go into my scene, oh, look at that. I have a new skybox that doesn't really match the, play, the, the tone of my game, but you know what, who cares? It's fun, <laughs> it looks nice. So that's how easy it is to change your skybox. All right, so pick a skybox that looks good for your game. Okay, next, let's get back into here and let's start looking for stuff to bring in. So this could be anything from cabins. So like I can bring in a cabin uh, and again, free assets, a furnished cabin, a free hut pack. That looks cool. Let's try the furnished cabin. That looks awesome. Oh, wow. That's like a modern furnished cabin. That's I don't want that. That's not what I'm looking for. That is cool looking, though. Let's bring in this free hut pack. How about that? Okay, it's got an outhouse and some fences, and that's all good stuff. Now, he's obviously trying to get you to buy his $25 hut that he built. So again, all this stuff is pretty easy to do. Instead of cabin, maybe... Um, Shack. Um, nothing. House. Oh, look at that. Okay. Villages house pack. Okay, perfect. Ooh, actually, what was that? That looks cool. Baker's house for free? Free fantasy. Oh my gosh, there's so much. There's so much. All right, I'm going to bring in this one because it looks cool and because I said so. So, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. I'm going to bring that in. So, add that to my assets. Medieval fantasy house. Let's open in Unity. Okay. And let's download. So, again, the, the beauty of this is we can just bring in assets and just kind of use them uh, in our own games. So let's see. Medieval Fantasy House. All right, go back to the scene. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. It's glorious. Okay get over here a little bit and it's scaled perfectly too do you realize how rare that is that this thing is scaled properly <laughs> oh that looks awesome okay I need to test this out I need to see what this looks like in game oh that looks great it's still floating a little bit and my footsteps are driving me nuts but that looks awesome oh and I can just walk right through so we need to put a collider on this to make your character not be able to walk through it. But for now, that looks pretty great. Let's sink her down in there a little bit. That looks pretty good. So, you know, we've got a custom skybox. We've got this guy and we have a video that's almost 15 minutes long. Um, let's see. The fact that this isn't water is kind of bugging me. Let's go to my terrain and... Trying to remember how to add water. No, nope, that's neighbor terrains. I 
I think water we're gonna have to bring in as an asset. Let's find one. So at this point, I'm just kind of trying to fix my game, make it look as good as possible, populate it with a bunch of stuff. Um, so again, free assets. Uh, okay, low poly water, water float, water effects. So yeah, all of these are things you can bring in and just kind of dump into your game. Oh look, there's a water well. See, I wasn't even looking for this, but that looks cool. So I might bring that in. Let's do it. At, so, at a certain point, I'm going to have to just decide to stop bringing in assets and playing around just because it looks cool because this is probably an infinitely boring to you at this point. I'm going to bring the well in and then I will stop. <laughs> um, okay, the water we can fill in another day. Let's put a well outside my house. Is it inside packages? I'm not seeing my well. Oh, because I didn't import it. I downloaded it. Duh. Oh, maybe that's not working. Anyway, okay. So let's talk about um, bringing in another character. Now, there are all kinds of ways you can bring in characters. The best way, obviously, is, you know, um, through standard assets here. Now, the important thing is that you bring in something that um, kind of matches your game. But again, it doesn't really have to... Um, it doesn't have to do anything. So, for example, I just picked the spider at random because spiders scare me to death and I hate them so, so much. Uh, so let's bring it in. Um, this one says it has four animations, idle, walk, attack, and death. We would need to write scripts to handle those animations, but for now, just to bring them in, um, that'll be totally fine. So let's open. Animated spiders pack, let's download. And import. Yes, let's bring in all the spiders. Ooh, there's an error. Well, let's see. We have prefabs here. Let's bring in a spider over here. Spider 1. Okay. Now, I can already tell that Spider 1 needs to be bigger. Because it's not a fantasy game if you don't have giant spiders, right? And that is really creepy. Let's go take a look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and it's already moving. Oh, oh gosh. It's going through its entire animation cycle. Oh, that's cool. All right. Well, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. That was fun. Uh, that was fun for me. So anyway, so as you can see, it's it's pretty easy just to add stuff into your scene, right? We're just going to populate it, make it feel more alive. Now, your terrain looks different from mine, and it's probably going to be oriented different than mine, different, more, you know, with different aspects and different things. So you're going to want to put in different things that I'm putting in. Um, but this is basically the idea. Just keep adding new stuff. Um, use some custom textures on the ground, paint in new textures, you know, maybe adjust your terrain as you put stuff in it and you realize, ah, that's, maybe that mountain needs to be just a tad bit taller or whatever. Um, you know, play around with it. Make, make something that you want to show off to people and say, hey, I handcrafted this thing. I built this whole thing myself, you know, minus a couple assets that we stole from people on the internet. But I digress, right? Make something that whenever you build it, and yes, I want the build of your scene. So just a refresher, you're going to go to File, and then Build Settings. You're going to make sure that the scene you've been building in is in your Scenes and Build menu. You're going to build it to PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. You're going to build, 
and then you're going to take all those files that come from that build, you're going to compress them into a zip folder and upload that. I want to be able to click on an executable file and play your game and walk around in your scene and explore it and see what it's like. That's what I want. Um, so build something, make a fantasy environment, something that it would be cool to play around in. Again, this could be a first, first person, third person, however you want. As you can see, the first person is incredibly easy. Mine is having to delete that one script that just doesn't work for some reason in the, in the standard assets. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see what you come up with. I'm super excited to see it. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or you need any help. Remember, this is a power standard. And so if you don't do this, you're not going to be able to graduate or you're not going to be able to pass the class for this term. So let's make sure we get this power standard done, completed, turned in, and let's uh, build something we can be proud of. All right. Peace.